If you love Key West, Against All Odd Challenges, Unlikely Heroes, Romance, you will love the Buck Riley Adventure Series. It is based here in the Keys and each adventure in the series is a unique and exciting nail biter. Locals love the series and they love the author, John H. Cunningham. John, thank you for being back on the show with me today. Lovely to be mm -hmm. here, Jenna. Well, Thank it's you. been a while since we've had you. It's probably been almost a year, I want to say. That's right. I was sat with you last year. All right. And you have released a new book since then. I have it in my hands, Green to Go. But first, could you tell our viewers who aren't familiar with Buck Riley a, a little bit about him? Sure. Well, Buck Riley, it's, a, it's about a guy who had a successful company. I always call it a, a for-profit treasure hunting company, kind of like an Indiana Jones, but for profit. And when the economy, e economy crashed, he mm -hmm. lost everything, his wife, his company, his, all his money, and he decided to move to Key West and operate Last Resort Charter and Salvage, uh, living in the La Concha Hotel and flying mm -hmm. a, uh, a 1946 Grumman Widgeon flying boat, which happened to be Jimmy Buffett's former plane. Okay, okay. Now, is he based on a real-life person, John, or is this someone that you have made up? It's somebody I totally made up, but it's a kind of a compilation of a series of protagonists uh, from other stories like Travis McGee or Frank Bama from Jimmy Buffett stories, Randy Wayne White's Doc Ford, uh, and, and people like that. There's a lot of kind of Florida-based fiction heroes, mm -hmm. and he's, he's cut from that same cloth. Now, you have heard great response from both of your books, John. What would you say that your reader's favorite part about the Buck Riley series is? I think they like the fact that Buck is a regular guy. I mean, he's an everyman. I say he's more everyman than Superman because he doesn't have a lot of money. He doesn't have a lot of you know, technology or gizmos to get him out of trouble or you know, government agencies to help him out. He's a regular guy facing big problems, and he makes a lot of mistakes. He yeah. doesn't, it doesn't kind of go like clockwork every time. So people write to me all the time and say, you know, it's amazing. You know, the next when Buck gets out of trouble, I think he's through it. And then next thing you know, something else happens. So mm -hmm. they kind of enjoy that it's a regular guy facing difficult challenges, mm -hmm. but makes it through. Right. They can relate to him. It exactly. Like. Let's talk about your newest book, Green to Go, John. Tell me about this one. Okay. Well, Green to Go picks up uh, shortly after the Red Right Return story finished. And in Red Right Return, he kind of gets the girl in the end. But in the beginning of this one, uh, he for one, learns that he was adopted at birth, which he had no idea of, and his brother kind of rubs that in his face, and they don't really get along. Mm -hmm. But his brother inherited all the wealth that he helped his parents uh, kind of squirrel aside when his company went bankrupt. But uh, they have a falling out. He loses his girlfriend, gets himself in trouble, and then the biggest theft in Key West history happens, uh, which is the, the robbery of the uh, Atocha Museum. Okay. And uh, it turns out a friend of his is implicated in doing that, but then as they research more, they think Buck was behind the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So he has to go find his friend to save mm -hmm. him, but then also to save himself. He always is in trouble. <laughs> or, but somehow, it's, I'm sure he weasels his way out of it, John. What are you working on next? Uh, next, I'm working on the third book. It's actually finished. It's called Crystal Blue. It's the first time I've told anybody the name, so okay. Jenna, you've got the scoop oh, on that. thank you. <laughs> it, uh, it comes out next spring, mm -hmm. and like uh, the other two, he's still living in the La Concha Hotel here in Key West, and he flies around. He, some other things come up, and he goes on a, a charter which takes him to uh, the U.S. Virgin Islands and the British Virgin Islands, where Again, lots of trouble and <laughs> challenges for Buck. So They follow him. Do you think you're going to continue writing about Buck O'Reilly? Like, even after this third book, do you think you'll do some more? It's a fun series. I mean, some of the ones I've mentioned, like the uh, Travis McGee series that John D. McDonald wrote in the 60s and 70s, he did 22 different ones. You know, Randy Wayne White with his Doc Ford series did 17, mm -hmm. and it's still going. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, Tom, you know, Corcoran has done seven or eight of his Alex Rutledge series. So it's definitely the type of thing that people like and mm -hmm. publishers like because it's continuity. Mm -hmm. uh, I write other things as well, but it's, it's fun to continue the series because you get to know the characters they, and they, they change. You know, mm -hmm. the, 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 a lot of the same characters are in the first book or in the second book, but they've grown as people and there are different things happening in their life. So it is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. John, one thing I like to ask authors when they come on the show is, I know it has to be hard sometimes to be a writer and be self-disciplined and always get that work done. So how do you overcome that challenge? Yeah, it's tough. Well, I, uh, writing isn't necessarily my full-time job. I also work in New York City and spend a lot of time uh, away from my family, unfortunately, so I have a lot of evenings that I get to write. And even when I'm home on the weekends, I'll usually try to carve out some time uh, to write in the mornings and, and just really focus on it. But 
Now, once I get a story going, it's kind of hard to stop because mm -hmm. you know you're into the story, you're kind of living it in your mind, and you, you get excited about continuing it on. So mm -hmm. it's just something you have to try to do a little bit of every day. Mm -hmm. And have a good character, and it sounds like you do have that good character. John, if people want more information about you, they can check out the website that they've been able to see on the bottom of the screen. Also, check him out on Facebook. Thank you for being on the show this morning. Thank we'll you have you on when your third book is out. Fantastic. <laughs> I look forward to it. I'll be right back after this. Stay with me.